Welcome back to Doom, everyone. I'm Jimmy Joe. Uh, here with Lady Panther, and uh, while we were in the middle of a break, I noticed that the encounter bar was all yellow. And if you remember from uh, previous encounter bars, yellow means boss fights. I think. So hopefully this episode won't take so long. Bacha. We found him in the valley, just outside the castle walls. He was badly wounded and wearing this. Guts. Guts. Huge guts. Huge guts. Kill them. Must kill them all. Hmm. He has fight in him yet. In spite of his injuries. In spite Send him of to his the injuries. Arena. Let him be judged like the others. Dyak Ranak. We learned of him. Oh, and I forgot that I was supposed to be recording before, and so we've already seen that one. Um, but where are the codex entries? Well, I don't remember. Oh well, I missed one, and I have points to put in. Oh, a second lock-on target can now be acquired from Ryan. That's cool. Faster reset for recharge. I like the rockets. I'm gonna do the rockets. One missed lore. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> I offer you a great power for one. A sign of truce. A sign of truce? What's the sign? Is it a one man? History of the Sentinels Part 5 On the eve of the Black Star, the Dark Ones came from a world beneath our own, not through ship nor em em ephemeral vessels, but through the fabric of dimensions. Out of swirling fiery gates came horned beasts from timeless realm. First one, then many. Crashing waves of evil swelled from the obsidian forest of Argentian overlands. The Alarium clans from the eastern mountains fell first to the ba black hordes of devils. And the city of Talorum was... Mortally challenged. <laughs> mortally challenged. <laughs> was slung under the weight of their charge. We sentinels rose to meet the beasts with spear in hand, the might of the holy fleet striking back at the demons, but the dark gates from whence they came gave birth still to greater hordes. A line of blood was drawn with the fallen of both sides, and the unholy wars began as the time of darkness came upon us. I'm missing anything? Nope. Book, book. Okay. Continue moving on. Is there anything over there? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm full armor. Never mind. Uh. I know of what you have left behind. Go back to it then. This is what I left behind. I got it now. You cannot save them. They have asked me for this, and so I give it to them. If you let the priest. Oh, you're not that talking? Then I will return to you what the demons took from you so long ago. What did they take from us, though? Need only turn back, and it will be yours again. All right. All the pain you carry I don't think it's going to work. Gone. All the pain will be gone. Well. Secrets? Secrets? There's a extra life somewhere. There's a thing there. And there's a thing here. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Um, so that's part seven. I wonder if this was part six. It was. Okay. So we'll look at six first. Just checking to see where that one extra life is. I think it's, it's right across from me. Oh, it's over that way. All right. So unlike the enemies of the past, we could not contain the demons emergent from the dark realm their weaponry was not conjured from machine steel but from a, the essence of their very being a dark magic not uh, not known for 
not known to us in our many conquests. Had we grown overconfident, our victories serving to dull our blade as we drank in glory of our expanding empire, lost, we knew not how to prevail against this foe. The maker gods stood perplexed, and our engineers and priests scrambled to find the advantage in battle we desperately needed. Unknown to the enemy, um, we were pushed to the brink of defeat, and our gods stood with us as we worked to find the answer. The Order of Diag were the first to unlock the mystery of the foul creatures. The priests were able to capture several of the beasts and set about to identify the source of their power. It was then that the essence of the Dark Realm was discovered. Not wholly unlike our own, this power was the life essence that flawed through their twisted form and powered their attacks. It could be harnessed to power our own weapons, giving the Argenta the chance to combat the demons on an even footing. The priests believe that the greater knowledge of the essence we could discover its source believe that with the greater knowledge um, discover the source and cut it off from the demons to strangle their armies from within allowing us to regain the advantage we required for victory on the battlefield con maker gave blessings to our majesty and directed the priests to delve deeper into the mysteries of the scarlet elixir from the demonic realm for she sought only to return balance to our universe Proper assimilation was required as hell stood beyond her influence. After great effort, the priests discovered more than they had ever hoped for. They learned of the true nature of the demonic energy and how it could strengthen those skilled enough to harness its power. The energy coursing through the uh, malformed bodies of the relentless enemy could be used to end life or enhance it. The power to heal, to mend, immortality, knowledge, and enlightened faculties beyond our understanding. With the demon's life force in the skilled hands of the sentinel priests, and under the ga righteous gaze of the con maker, our people would not only risk victory over the unholy horde that clawed at our walls, we would move to a higher plateau of existence, ushering in a new era of military science and industrial healing. No sentinel would grow sick. No maker would need to suffer the uh, transfiguration that they feared. Um, all would be risen. None could ever oppose the peaceful ways and threaten our world again. True balance over hell and its lesions over space and time in this world and all others. We would, uh, we would dictate the order. United with the makers, we would find eternal peace. The con maker demanded the tithe of the essence, uh, and driven by her desire, the priests submitted themselves to her will. The order of the Diag took counsel with the king, speaking only of the spoiled lands sure to be found through the cleft in creation, and the opportunity to purge its new invaders from the Argentiner. We took the war to the cursed lands, uh, pressing through the gates of wizardry. There was one among us who seemed to know the true nature of the foul demons. It was the outlander, the stranger who came to us from places unknown. He who survived, who, who had survived in the front lines for longer than the sentinel born prisoner had before. Uh, his passions for battle against the vile horde was evident. His lust for their destruction matching our own through Argentineur remained a foreign land to him. His fervor caught the attention of the inquisitors of sentinel guard some whispering of a suspected alliance he held in secret with the demons silencing the critics king novak deemed him a worthy selection the signifiers brought a commission to our king and it was decided that he would be lifted from the common rabble through the arena born prisoner <clears throat> had uh, though the, though no arena born prisoner had ever been granted that honor the sen the night sentinels broke tradition and deemed the outlander worthy of training a number of disciples 
grumbled and chafed at the barbarian present in their ranks, but in the war with the demons, all opportunities for even the slightest advantage was to be considered as they witnessed the stranger spar with the hallmasters. They found him found in him an undying, unrelenting compatriot. This man was an outsider, friend to none, and yet rose each time he was thrown to the dirt of the circle. Battered and bruised, his brow stained with blood, his, he rose with grim determination for the chance to face his enemies in armed combat once again. Time passed as the stranger was instructed in the uh, codified matrices of the order... The ancient lessons of battle and brotherhood taught all to all sentinels. He could sense the opportunity before him. Soon all of hell would feel his wrath once again. Satisfied that he would not be a detriment to their prowess, the night sentinels grant, granted his him his wish as they ventured through the hell gates with the stranger in tow. He knew no rest, fighting in the unnatural elements and training under the blood moon of night. The stranger suffered exhaustion, uh, wounds, and sickness, but asked for no aid and was offered none. Three times the night sentinels ventured into the gate and back, and upon every return the stranger strode more capable than before. His gate locked in step with the, ma the march of the sentinels. A disciplined and now controlled lust for demon blood ever present. The passing of years and in numerous battles of the devils in intended uh, indentured the stranger to the Argenta's mighty warriors, and no longer did they con condescend to him as a new blood conscript. For th to them, he had been a brother in arms forged in war, an ally, and a weapon. Wow, that's a lot of information. But basically, the Argent um, ended up um, training him. And with that training, he became even more lustful for blood, it seems. Um, and ever, you know, present for um, killing more demons. How do I get in there? How do I... Oh, oh, okay. I think I have to go this way? I mean, I have to use this. Oh, secret bookshelf. Alright. Four extra lives. Going the right way? No. You're probably gonna need them. Not going the right way. Need to go up here here this is the right way I pity the humans. where's the oh this is a hard role to play but i too have a world to save without their souls there can be no hell energy and the argent will cease to flow okay you will not no it was armor progress this is how always been done. It is not for you to deny us our chance at prosperity. Sure it is. Part 8. As we ward with the beast of Argenta society uh, as we ward with the beast, the Argenta society grew under the watchful eye of the makers and through the endless power of the essence. While our generals are, were consumed with the holy unholy war, our culture was marked by a beautiful potion the enemy had provided, the sweet elixir. It brought us immeasurable capacity and empowered us to reach further into dimensions once thought to be beyond our grasp. Under the direction of our maker gods and the engineering of our high priests, our weapons blazed and our war machines stormed. The throngs of the populace drank deeply from the well of energy unveiled by the priests but we of the night sentinels took no part in their abundance some among us whispered accusations and warnings against this manner of progress but they were quelled as it was not our role to dictate the future of our people only to defend it uh, okay 
That's not usually how you run a. Um, oh, how do I get that? Um, that's not usually how you run a society, or else people might uprise um, and fight you on it. But yeah, five extra lives. <laughs> Uh, what that means, right? Yeah, it. I told you those things look like their boss fights. As the Black Star ascended to its zenith, King Novak, uh, Novik, Novik, sorry, Novak was the other one. Um, King Novik sat re uh, restless on his throne as a howling darkness began to assemble just beyond the mountain rise to the east. The blight came upon us in droves, flooding forth from the Hellgate with merciless fury. They brought with them a monstrous titan, the Dreadnought, a beast to rival the, stat the stature and menace of the mightiest ancestral. Yes, we're fighting next. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. Um, the grotesque... Are you done? The grotesque giant laid... The grotesque giant laid waste to all before him, crushing all in his path. This was a total demonic assault, striking at the heart of Argentineur, as never before. How was it that the behemoth could pass through the demonic gate without warning? We would never know. Through the night sentinels believed treason was at play. Um, caught off guard, the sentinels scrambled late in defiance of the titan and his horde, and with his coming of the holy city of Taras Nabad um, prepared for judgment with the onslaught of the demons massed in sprawling shadow of the ab abhorrent fiend the city shook to its foundation none were spared these uh, save those that fled north the vile swarm ransacked our temples and palaces burning our towers and feasting on the souls of our clergy fun yum, yum. Yet the Night Sentinels rallied and held fast against the demons, though they were pushed back and corralled at the Blood Arena. As the dark of night descended, their swords remained potent and a shred of enemy multitude with abandon. And shred the enemy multitude with abandon. Uh, amidst the unyielding ranks of the Sentinels, when all other apprentices had fallen in battle, stood the Outlander. Rip and tear, he roared, ferocious in battle. The remaining conscripts of the arena stood in awe as they witnessed the beast who was who once raged within their very cells, now armored alongside their shoulders of his sentinel brethren. He had risen where none other had risen had before, a true born sentinel fighter, the very best among them. But through the swarm fell bef but though the swell but though the sw but though the swarm fell before their assault the titan remained in invincible for none could tame the behemoth alone in hours before dawn the night sentinels weathered the relentless assault the outlander held his ground at the front of the great wall in the northern bend of the castle seeing his un unending vigor samar chancellor of the mother god hurried the outlander away under the veil of secrecy and for reasons unknown submitted him to the right untold uh this was her heresy for simmer received no constant or no consent from the con maker nor did he receive her counsel in the chapel of purity the outlander submitted himself to the divinity machine there summer maker the seraphim known at, to us only as the aid to the mother god uh, blessed the outlander with fierce speed and power to match his will it was the method by which this transfer fusion took place that was most uncertain to us for we were the knowledge that the maker for we were of the knowledge that the maker device bestowed to the argenta so many generations ago was to be used by the priests only to find the impurity among us 
How could it be that the device was meant to cull the sentinel breed of its contaminants? Could it be used to purify the outlander's body and give rise to the one who would lead us into battle henceforth? Henceforth and forever. The rose from the holy coffin on that fateful day was not the impure abomination the covenant wanted warned us of. The hero within would come to be known only as the great slayer, the time walker, the warrior Khan whose fire sword would blaze forth a path for the just and cut through the demonic horde with a vengeance that only God King could only a God King could summon. He rose unbroken by the ritual, his eyes burned with a maker magic. He took the crucible in his hand and wraith fire leapt forth from the blade as only it will when held by a true sentinel warrior king oh in our darkest hour the slayer had been chosen defying tradition our most sacred laws and will of the great khan herself the stranger a stranger to our lands had been blessed with celestial might so we became a king interesting Well, that's that's what it said. I cannot stand by and watch as you put our future at risk. Ooh, another one. Earth will be consumed, and the energy will continue to flow. It is your people's survival against mine. Yep. Oh, there's the first boss. Daggrav remains the most powerful of the hell priests among the people of Argentinur, frequently visiting his ancient home world to lord over the populace, arrogant and pompous. Grav calls for blood sport in the arena to entertain the fallen citizens of Sentinel Prime. Since the demonic invasion of Earth began, he had he has operated on this planet's surface along with his fellow hell priests to direct the hell's forces but after deaths of diagnilox and diagranak he has fled to the safety of the arena it was diagrav who facilitated the tournament and eventually betrayed the sentinel commander valen taking the keys to the sepulcher of elements and opening the vault of the sleeping wraiths the agent creatures were abducted, transported to hell, and tortured to siphon away their powers. He used the heart of Valen's son to animate the icon of sin, and uh, Titan still spoke of in legend through the Argent Denner. Well, we're going to go fight the, uh, the thing of sin. Oh. All right, is this going to close and all these going to open? Nope. Um, ammo? I think I'm full on ammo. Oh, there's another one. There's so many lore here. Gladiator. In the years following the end of the Golden Age, competing factions of Argentina turned against one another. An insidious influence had beset itself upon sentinel people, corrupting its once held sacred traditions. The Colosseum, once a place of honorable combat where prisoners of the Argenta were tested for the right to fight on the front lines of their army, has since become a place of blood sport. In violation of sentinel law, the priests have engaged a demon there, a merciless executioner used to exact the judgment of their own decree. The gladiator, wielding an accursed shield, and into which entombs the tormented soul of his undying master uh, remains undefeatable in battle, infamous for the many lies it has claimed. I wonder if that's the thing that we fought that summons the dog. I mean, it's not a titan, so. but it was tall. It was taller than Doom Guy, though. And Doom Guy is pretty tall. He's like a foot taller than any normal human. <laughs> You'll make a fine addition to the front line, stranger. The demons! They are everywhere. Must 
Kill them all! Dress his wounds and bring him to us. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> if Sentinel Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here. I don't think we needed sovereignty. All right, what are we fighting? Is that a shield? That's a shield. All right, buddy. Uh, shield's eyes glow green. The gladiator is about to attack. Shoot him in when his eyes are green to stagger him. Create an opening. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm going to have a ton of glory kills now, actually. All right. Glory animations. Come on, come on, come on. What? Woo! Armor. More armor. Oops, I missed. Ugh. Whoops. I did Uh Um there we go. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. This one is a lot easier than that faster one, though. I can stagger him. Like, that's the, that's the biggest thing. I can stagger him, and he just... I don't know. He doesn't seem that... Uh, weird. I didn't realize that the shield was alive. I I was more like focused on when he was attacking me. Fair. Uh, without his shield, is more aggressive and wider range of attack. Great. Sprints one of its flails. It returns attacks, and when it flashes green, it's about to strike. Yeah. Okay. Ow! Ow! Little guys? Little guys? Okay, 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 okay. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? I can't get out of it, can I? No, I can't. I don't know what it was, but... Nope. Oh no! 
Okay. I am out of rockets. Ooh, okay. Huh, huh, huh. Give me some health. Ooh. Health, health. I, there's nothing to get health from. I, yeah. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. All right. Wasn't too bad. The extra lives helped. Oh, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> Stab or smash. That's fine. It's nice. Coin. This stops nothing. Earth will be consumed. Regardless of what. <laughs> we were welcome. We are not welcome anymore. The portal is ready. We should leave immediately. Why'd we leave? Why'd we throw the coin away? I don't understand what the coins are. Wow, okay. Well. He, um, gives coins for the dead. Don't you notice? I, yeah, I suppose. But it came from him, so it's just weird to me. Thumbs down. <laughs> that was the achievement. So I guess there was only one encounter. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, we'll see what this comes out. Loads probably back in the fortress, see if there's any more plot development, and uh, we'll call it an episode. Sounds good to me. It's only been about a half hour, but this is a very lore heavy um, episode. <laughs> yes. I felt like all you were doing was reading. Yeah, I was for the first 20 minutes. But it was a lot of information, and we really needed to learn it. Because, I mean, it was a lot of backstory. The con maker has overloaded your systems. Vega has no control over. Okay. If you had let the culling continue, the human race you fight to protect would have survived. Now I will resurrect the icon of sin. Great. He will devour Earth and leave your whole world in ruins. Life on your planet shall never return. And this will be yet another world you brought to extinction. Huh. This stronghold will now serve as your prison. With no power, you can do no more harm to our mission, and we may continue the work that must be done. Alright, looks like it's not the end of this episode yet. Where'd it go? Alright. Is that it? That was it. Return power to your ship. That's what that was. In the end, the very power source you sought to eradicate from Earth is now where we'll help you save it. 
Sounds the good. The mission on Sentinel Prime was a success. The demonic consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop a Titan. Okay. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Setting the portal to So there are more crucibles? I thought there was only one, and that was the whole point. Huh. I'll listen to the arc message and then we'll get This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck <laughs> of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed, but many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. All right. Well, I apologize again for it being such a lore heavy episode, but we're going to call it here for today. And uh, if you liked it, leave a like in the comments and leave a comment on the like button and come back for more Doom. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.